Hey y'all, what's up? I'm Mags, thanks for stopping by my channel. This is gonna be a generalized reading and uh, it's a brand new type of reading I've never done, but also um, I'm just gonna keep it real on this channel like I always do. I will never be fake with you guys. Um, especially after yesterday, um, I am connecting with a lot of people that may not have received any type of gift or message from anybody. And I feel like Spirit has called me to do this reading about your enemies, okay? Whether it's competition, somebody in your family, someone at work, whoever, okay? If you don't have enemies, you're doing this life wrong. You're weak if you don't have enemies. Five, five on the clock right when I said that. When you go to war, you better know your opponent for each battle, okay? Because you're not going to win the war if you don't, right? This is strategy, this channel is about true, concise, and clear messages. I will always bring that to y'all. I'm not here to be hunky-dory fluff every day, rainbows and unicorns, all right? I, I represent the light and the shadow side. And I'm telling you right now, because I know what I'm going through, um, I have had very specific attacks on me energetically the last two months to where someone's literally trying to take me out. Kill me. For real. And I just want to come on here publicly and say, you failed. And your energy ain't shit, bitch. So with that being said, back to you, collective. I love you. We're going to go ahead. We're going to read your enemy's energy because they don't stand a chance against me. And I've, I've confirmed with three other psychics in the last 24 hours about all of this, about the energy, the attacks that I've been having. Yesterday, I had a very, very specific one sent to me. There was no way that was not black magic. There's no way. There's no doubt in my mind. Like, I know. And so that's fine. I just want you to know, I laughed afterwards. Okay. And we're still here. All right. So what's coming in for my collective? What are your enemies' energies? I'm already picking up on it. Oh, it's filthy. All right. Let's clear the energy real quick. Deep breath in. We're going to calm our energy down. Okay. Deep breath in through our nose, out through our mouth. I heard the name Mariah. Last name O'Donnell. I heard the name Maria. Marie? Maria. That may be a middle name. Rat them out, spirit. Let's go into prayer. Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors and guardian angels, thank you for rising us up out of our bed this morning. And thank you for connecting me with the beautiful, true and honest collective. Glory to the most high, for we are nothing without you forever and ever. Amen. Lord, I ask that you use me for clear, concise, and true messages for the greatest and highest good of the person watching this video. My true collective. People that have true, pure hearts that are good, strong people that struggle I ask that you use me for them specifically, not their enemies, not the cross watchers. I ask that you use me specifically for them. Help me guide them as we move through this. Amen. I'm seeing a black car. I'm seeing a black Impala as well as a black Kia. I'm seeing an exchange. Someone's literally buying a gun. I'm seeing an exchange of a, of a credit card or a debit card in exchange for a gun. Someone's registering a gun. Straight up. Someone's registering a gun. Okay? No big deal. Whatever. <sighs> I heard the word confiscated, and then I saw a computer getting taken back by a corporate entity from somebody who was in leadership. Ooh, ooh. Rat them out, spirit. Rat them out. Someone's playing dirty at work that's in a leadership position. They know this. They are trying to hide it. They're trying to pretend like they're this amazing leader or manager and they're fucking false. All right. There's my wind chime. On oh, God. Woo! 
Ooh, come on, write them out. What's coming in for my collective with their enemies, please? Let, let me know. I'm protected. I swear to God, I'm protected. Let's go. Look, see, they're on pause. They don't know how to react to you and your energy right now because they know you know. They know you know. The heat is on them. They feel the heat. They know you're there. And that's that's not going to go well for them. Look, Queen of Swords in the reverse. This person's a bitch. This person is a bitch. Whoever it is, man or female, doesn't matter. This person's energy is a bitch. And they mask it really well. They pretend like they're really nice and sweet and they're not. Like they are not. At the end of the day, they have a very negative energy. I can feel it. I can, I can feel it. Oh, <laughs> they have no inspiration. Like they don't even know how to inspire themselves without others. They don't even know who they are. All right. Um, five by five on the clock, right? When I said it, this person's not even woke. This person pretends to be woke. Okay. That, that was a heavy download. I'm seeing somebody go into like a crystal shop or something like that. And they're buying crystals but just for show, like they don't even like crystals. They don't appreciate these. It's just for show to put on their desk to make people think they're woke. What a fake. <laughs> okay, tell me more. Come on, spirit, rat them out. Tell me about my viewers, enemies, please and thank you. This person doesn't know how to take your energy. They're trying to decide how they want to come at you next. I also feel like this person, straight up collective, this person's been working with some type of tarot reader or shaman or something, and they are purposely trying to do spell casting towards you or black magic, or they're wishing bad ill on you. Like they pray about this every night. Like this person's obsessed. I'm not sure why. We'll go a little bit deeper as to figure out like why this person is your enemy. Um, I'm just reading their energy right now. This person like can't even make a decision on their own. That's how weak they are. But they pretend like they're a leader and it's hilarious. Indecisive as fuck. Okay, tell me more. Thank you. You're going to get confirmation on this from a from another person, okay? So someone's going to either text you, call you, say something at work about this person. It's going to be a message from another person that's noticing how this person's acting. They're going to message you or talk to you about like, do you think something's off with so-and-so? With so -so? Duh. Duh. I'm now seeing a pentagram. This person might have even at one point in time, I don't feel like it's now, but I feel like this person at one point in time may have literally worshipped the devil or was in some type of cult or occult type of situation where it was like really prominent devil energy that's why i keep picking it up see because the devil's a lie on this channel but i i can i can sift it out like that like i that energy is so stanky to me i can oh let's go ahead and clear it i can smell Ooh. <coughs> i smell sulfur sulfur so bad i'm getting choked up like <coughs> All right, come through me, spirit. Use me. Thank you. Five of wands. There's, there's, they're fucking, they fight all the time. This person is straight conflict. Energetically, their energy is at war with themselves. And so because they're at war with themselves, they feel like they have to go to war with everyone else. They've been doing this their whole life and then masking it like they're not like that. <laughs> They'll do anything for money. They are money hungry. This person is very 3D based. They're very materialistic. This person might even shoplift as like a way to get off. Like that's a high for them. They don't, and they don't need to. They have money. This person has money or they're at least solid or stable, but this person shoplifts. Yeah. I just got patted on the back on that one. This person shoplifts. They are a coward. They have no spine. This is your enemy, y'all, okay? You need to hear this. Like, maybe you've built this person up to be something that they're not in your head. No. Spirit's coming through to tell me. <sighs> Spirit's coming through me to tell you this person is so fucking false. It's not even funny. Even their own family can't stand them most days, all right? Straight up. 
tell me more about this enemy of my viewer, please. Spirit, use me. Greatest and highest good. Thank you. This person's a player. First and foremost, they're a slut or a player. Okay. This person spreads their legs or puts their whatever in whatever. Okay. Uh, this person's loose. <laughs> I just heard I just heard someone say fact. Like this person's a hoe. Okay, man or woman, it doesn't matter. This person's a hoe. They cheat on every single person they're in a relationship with. They lie about it. They hide it. They're sneaky. This person's a hoe. They need that validation, that like physical validation because they have no, they have no, um, no confidence in themselves because of how they act, right? So this is five of cups. This person's so stuck in the past, it's not even funny. This person might be in love with someone from years ago and like telling the person they're with now that like they love them but that's not the truth they're using the person they're with now to either get ahead or like cope uh-huh um what's the word i'm looking for they're siphoning the energy out of the person they're 11 11 on the clock right when i said that. they're siphoning the energy out of the person they're currently with and playing them and the person they're currently with really believes like they're a genuine good person now <laughs> run for the love of God for the love of God it ain't gonna work eight of pentacles in the reverse okay you might work with this person this person and you might work together regardless this person's work is shit when they're on their own like I feel like this person has to have a lot of other people to make them look good because when they're on their own they suck <laughs> seven of swords all right I'm gonna switch decks one more time give me one more on that spirit tell me more thank you Look at that. Four of wands in the reverse. Like this person can't even hold partnerships on their own. They depend on everyone else. They're very codependent. Look at that. Ten of pentacles in the reverse. Like <laughs> will of fortune in reverse. Holy shit. This person has no clue what kind of energetic karma is headed straight for them. Like this is going to be bad for them. Like this is going to be bad. And um. <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to switch decks. I'm going to say it again. Uh, just for my enemy, because I know you stay watching me. You stay watching me because you have no life. All right. So to my enemy, I just want you to know, return to sender. Okay. Return to sender times 10, bitch. Next. No, I'm going to say that. I'm going to say that to you and your enemies as well. My viewer, I'm going to say this to your enemies because I know they'd be watching me to try to, they're trying to get a, a leg up on you and your energy. So to your enemies, to these bad people, return to sender, bitch. Toot toot. You hear that? Ooh. 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 Look at that. Satan incarnate. This person loves this type of energy. The devil. They have a, um, I keep hearing, I, I just heard the word pretty face. This person has truly mastered masking. When they're alone, so I want to give you an idea of the type of person I'm talking about here. I don't feel a violent person like anyone that would physically harm someone. Oh, no, no, no. This person's um a little bit more sophisticated than that. This person energetically... is this the devil okay i can't make this shit up all right and i'm heightened the most i've possibly ever been heightened in my entire life right now so i know these messages are true and concise all right so let's go in what's what's coming in so this person's really got some serious like toxic mean energy to them tell me more thank you that in the reverse <laughs> so for what it's worth collective whoever your person covets the most whoever turns them on the most or whoever they want to have sex with the most um whether it's their partner or somebody else or whoever it doesn't matter whoever they covet the most that person does not want them oops and if you and if the and if your enemy is having relations with this person, like after they get done, the person that they were fucking is disgusted and they regret messing with this person. 
Karma's a bitch. Truth hurts. Like, what's hilarious is your enemy is getting used by someone, like, so severely. And every time someone messes with them, like, physically, I feel like the person that messes with them regrets it. And you know why? Because of this energy. They feel this energy. When you have, when you have sex with someone or you get physical with someone, you take that energy in. It is a very sacred practice uh, to even get physical with anyone because you're going to take on that energy, vice versa, right? So if someone's having this energy, anyone that messes with them physically is going to come out feeling this energy and they're not going to want any part of it if they're a good person, right? Does that make sense? Okay. So here's the thing is it's like this person wants commute, your enemy wants communication, but like there's no passion. Like this person doesn't turn anyone on. They think they do. They think they're hot shit. I'm hearing Cardi B's hot shit in my ear right now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, look at that. Nine of uh, pentacles in the reverse, excuse me, nine of cups in the reverse. So this is wish fulfillment in the upright. No, nope. Sorry about your luck, enemy. You ain't getting no wishes because of how you act. Oh, God. my Dude, my collective is protected as hell. I call on all the highest angels and our spirit teams and our ancestors and the most high. Tell us. Thank you. Sun in the reverse. This person might have feelings for a Leo, and that Leo does not have the same feelings for them. Mm, look at that. Tough crab, right? <laughs> Seven of Cups. Uh, so just so you know, your enemy, like they think they're number one choice, but they're not. They're like one of many and they're at the bottom of the totem pole. All right. So hope you feel better collective. This could be why your enemy is so mean. Like they are constantly rejected, but they don't understand. It's their own energy that's getting them rejected. Like. Tell me more. Tell us more about my, about my collective's enemies. Thank you. Look at that. No inspiration. No clarity. I, I feel like as part of a punishment, your enemy is going to be not inspired with work or with their finances. Their finances are going to take a brutal, brutal hit. They may even lose their job because of this. This person might go into a very deep depression. Um, what I will say is that they're going to get through it. But the thing is, is like, <sighs> the lovers in reverse, dude. Like, I cannot, I cannot make this up. All right. Um, this is very specific, but also it's like, correct. Spirit is telling me that your enemy has a mental illness and they're not going to get checked for it. And that's their biggest mistake is that they're not healing appropriately and it's only going to continue very toxic cycles their entire life until they go get it checked but I feel like your person has some type of serious ego and so because of that like they won't go get checked they will never go get checked and you know what that's their karma moon in the reverse I'm I'm letting some secrets out man things are coming to illuminati all right, we're illuminating this bitch. Um, <clears throat> I just got an image of Muhammad Ali and George Foreman, um, Rumble in the Jungle, that infamous boxing match where Ali won in Africa. Why am I being shown that? Um, okay, no, I know exactly why I'm being shown that. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Um, so energetically okay take the physicalities out of it take the genders out of it whoever your enemy is whoever you know who i'm talking about energetically you're both heavyweights okay you both have a lot of power but very different very different types of power so george foreman in that fight if you know historically what happened that queen of emotions in reverse um so in that fight Basically, what Muhammad Ali did was he let George Foreman beat him up for round after round after round to tire George Foreman out. He damn near lost the fight by letting George beat him up. And at the, like, I think it was like the sixth or seventh, eighth round, Muhammad was like, switch, boom, 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 boom. And he fucking won. Spirits acknowledging that's what's occurring. That's what's occurring right now. 
fuck out of here. 20 minutes on the clock right when I said that. Look at that. Sorry about that. Just had a public service announcement on my phone. What I was getting ready to say, though, look at this. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse and the Six of Wands in reverse. This person, your enemy's done. It's over. Finito. They are not going to have a happy life, happy spouse, happy children. If they already have that, like a family or whatever, like they are not happy right now. It's not going well for them. And more importantly, they will not be successful over you and your energy or any black magic they're putting on you. It's going to fail again. Return to sender. Okay. Because on this channel, this is the energy we bring on this channel. Again, I'm reading your enemy's energy, dude. Like do not be fearful. There is no such thing as fear. Fear is a liar. Okay. You understand? Give me one more. I'm going to switch decks again. Give me one more on my collective's enemy, please, and thank you. What do we need to know? Thank you, spirit. Look at that. Look at that. Ten of pentacles in the reverse again. Dudes. Thank you. If you're my enemy watching this, which I know you stay watching, bitch, bitch, my cards don't lie, bitch, one, one, one on the clock because I'm protected. All right, I'm gonna have to combine these two videos, but I'm protected. Eight of emotions in the reverse. Like, look at that. Six of wands in the reverse. Shut up. Shut up. Oh my God, I just realized that fell out. So now we have, look at this. I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up. Ten of pentacles in the reverse, twice. Six of wands in the reverse, twice. Two different decks. Same exact cards, dude. My cards don't lie. I'm fucking done. Look at that. Two of emotions in the reverse. All right. So if your enemy is trying to take your, your lover or whoever you have your eyes on or who you're in love with, if they're trying to take them away, I'm telling you right now, it is not going to go in their favor, regardless of if you stay with this person or not. No. All right. Here's your warning. Shots fired. How many times? Shots fired, dude. You're lucky I don't have a gun pointed at you right now. My cards are the gun, bitch. All right. Like, go ahead. Purchase a gun. Go ahead. Go ahead. And I just want to, I want to put a personal message out there to the person that really is truly trying to take me down. Do you know who you are messing with? I don't think you do. Two, two, two on the clock. I don't think you even comprehend. Okay. My cards don't lie. And believe me when I tell you, if I ever see you face to face, you won't even know I'm there until you're knocked out on the fucking ground energetically that's it for my reading if this if you'd like to go a little bit you know what no actually no i'm gonna uh, I'm gonna back it up back it up thank you spirit spirit tell me to calm down i'm sorry i just got a lot of rage coming in from you from this energy that i'm reading my cards don't lie man okay so tell me more what do we need to know final message for the collective what's their energy from their egyptian ancestors or any type of ancestors i only want the ancestors talking to us right now because the ancestors have been through some shit all right your ancestors somehow survived and got your bloodline here it is today for thousands of years so that's why i'm calling on them because they're experienced okay they have a lot of wisdom so ancestors give me one for the collective please what do we need to know message for the collective i'll read it from my book I just had a leaf try to come in here, um, try to fly through my window, actually. That's really interesting. Message for the collective, please, for their enemies. Please and thank you, ancestors. Thank you. There it is. Completeness. Nefertum, number 36. You could be 36 years old. Your enemy could be 36 years old. The number 36 could be relevant. I'm going to read this, okay? Get my glasses on. God, we're there. It's that age, you know? Okay. His name means perfect without equal. He is the God of perfumes who relieves suffering and also is the God of immortality. He is represented as a young boy dressed in a simple skirt with a lotus flower on his head, a symbol of birth and regeneration. And for this reason, he is the deity of, quote, sweet smells. He represents the complete fusion with the universe, the ultimate success, the completeness, triumph, and initiate initiatives, the fullness of one's own energies. Follow the heavenly directions and you will have the right reward and the right place in a high spiritual hierarchy. Remember that the initiate is the one who carries the seed of light within him. 
Remember that the initiate is the one who carries the seed of light within him. You're the light. Your enemy is the darkness. Don't forget it. Don't stoop to our level. Stay up. Stay protected. Stay strong in prayer. Don't choose violence. Okay, that's not, I am not promoting that by any means with this message. But you need to know who you're dealing with or who's trying to really cause damage in your life. Okay, thank you. All right, so if this resonated with you, leave me a message. If it didn't, no harm, no foul. I hope to see you back again. Uh, again, if you'd like to go a little bit further on a one-on-one -on -one private reading, all the information will be in the box below. And if this is where you part ways, my darling dears, you so got this in the bag. It's not even funny. I love y'all. Take care. Stay prayed up, blessed up. Let's go.